Hi there, this is Dan Gray and I'm testing out I'm uh, trying to do autofocus and I'm recording at the same time I'm learning how to use this camera but anyway that's Maxim DL and uh, this is the rotator on the screen and I can like say I'm taking a picture of this and I want to find a bright guide star I see one right there and then over there we can see it it went there Cool, so now if I was really on the sky, I could uh, guide on that. But, um, this is, a, just to inform you, this is the Cal Poly Rotator Focuser, and we just completed it and got it working today, so I wanted to make a video of it. And, <clears throat> you can see it's tracking. You can see it right here, it's tracking the sky angle. Come on. Come on, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. See, it's uh, the, the sky angle is staying pretty much the same. It should be. Nope, click to start. Okay, it wasn't, so let me start it. There. Now the sky angle is staying the same. Rotator angle is changing. Parallactic angle and the parallactic rate. So we're a little bit less than the sidereal rate right now. And uh, let's see, let's go to the all sky view and let's see where we're at. We're over here. Uh, let's go to M13. So I'm going to screw to M13. And then there you can see the motors. Slew ended. Oh, wow, the slew's ended. Okay, and we didn't do the post slew exposure. Now we'll go over here to the zoom. We'll zoom in. Yep, there's M13. And let's find another guide star. Right there. You can see it's moving like that. And you could probably hear it. Okay. Now let's uh, go like if we go, if I put this over here we can see both at once. You can see how it's uh, there's counterclockwise. There's clockwise. That's uh, working pretty well. Now we're going to test the focuser. Let's get the rotator in a good position so we can see the focuser. Okay. Now I'll try to focus it again. Focus this camera. You can see it's at about, I don't know what that is, but we can go over here to the focuser and it says it's three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to go click on set point four. Right here, set point four, which is one inch. And then now we can see it moving out to one inch. Okay, good. So now we'll click on set point. Uh, that's about a half an inch, or, or here's exactly a half an inch. There you have it, a half an inch. Anyway, it's all working. Just wanted to show you all that. And I'll talk to you all later.